the youth, there is what we call training. Oh, we all came out from our mother's womb dumb. Okay? We don't know nothing. You came out blind, you don't know nothing. But as time goes on, you learn how to creep, how to crawl, how to walk, and you learn a whole lot of things while you're growing up. So if you want to be a singer, you feel that you really want to sing from your inside, okay? And you realize that you don't uh, um, have the voice to sing. You should train your voice. Or better still, be a director. Direct others that are singing. Train them. You don't necessarily need to have the voice. But when you hear them sing, you can tell them, no, this is not your notes, this is not your notes, this is But it is very essential and important that you as an individual know what you're doing before you start directing others. So, training, okay? Any other person to ask me questions? Because I'll soon be leaving you guys. Your, 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 uh, please forget at least 30 minutes. I'm with you. Okay, but what if you have an interest in doing something and your parent doesn't know what you wish to do? And they, and they say that if you wish to do what you have what you have interest for, then you should go and do it. What if they say they must do it? Sweetheart, God Almighty always provide for us. I don't even know what I'm saying. Do you want your parents to sponsor you and then you cry all the rest of your life? No. So I don't see originally no parents will no parents will tell the child, I ain't gonna sponsor you and really stick to that. Here you know. You might be going to two hundred level in university and then one day their hearts just flip and like, what am I teaching my child like this is what she wants? They will support you. Don't bother because you know why? You are going to be the one to suffer it when you bother. Okay? Yes, please. I was once told that I'm good in music. I was once told that 
I'm a good actress. I don't even know what I'm saying. I've done a couple of movies. But sweet as that's not where I've been. Anytime I'm on, I'm on screen acting, I'm not happy. I love this job I'm doing right now. It's fun for me. Every day I tell everybody, even on Facebook, Twitter, everybody I tell, I say, I love my job. This job is what gives me peace and joy. So nobody can tell you. If you know inside of you that that is what we give you, sweet as go for it. Okay? They are not the ones that will tell you to become a mass com a, a mass foundation student. And then you now come out to become either a broadcaster or whatever. Do you understand? Yeah. You wanted to ask a question. Ma, then she said that she said that in a situation whereby you are provoked about things that happen in society and you want to make a change. I was meant to understand that a mentor is somebody you look up to. Yes. We ever in a situation, you, you are looking up to somebody and yes. you want to be like that person. Mm -hmm. Is it wrong? No, it's not wrong. But the thing is, if you both of you have the same drive and the same calling, the same vision, you understand? If both of you are supposed to be in the same, like I have a lot of mentors. I have up to about five of them. They might not even know that they're my mentors, but I love them so much. Whenever I'm going through stress, those are the people I call. We are all in the same field, okay? We do the same thing. Your mentor should be somebody that is in the same field with you. Genevieve cannot be my mentor right now. I'm not an actress. I don't understand what I'm saying. Neither am I a model. So she cannot be my mentor. Neither can she be my role model. I don't understand what I'm saying. Your mentor should be those people that are in the same field with you. And you can rub hands with and then they help you grow. Okay? Any, are you confused? But you see that uh, as in when we ask, uh, ask our question, yeah. when you ask us what we want to be, you see that as in that is that is that is I think it's not good enough. Career. No, I don't say that's not your real career. Sorry, you see that that's what you say no. Yes, that I said that's not enough. What I'm saying is the reason why you decided to do this, I, because I ask you what are your reasons, right? You guys gave me your reasons. The very first reason, you gave your own reason that you want to change the situation because you don't like the way politicians are treating us, right? Yeah. Was that what you said? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was, you said what, please? I said I was the best to do. Okay, sorry, the widows and um, the left people in society and all that. That was what you said, right? I asked you why do you want to do that, right? I asked you why you want to study law and you told me this is why you wanted to study law. And I told you that is not good enough reason. It's a good reason. That is where you see the enough. Okay? I can like I, I made an I gave an, an, an example of me being provoked with the situation of things in the country. And then I wake up one day and I say I want to do this or I want to do that. We all know that there are some movies these days in Hollywood that we are not comfortable with. We just woke up so before you just woke up one minute like I want to become a producer, I want to see, let me produce my own movie job. I don't understand what I'm saying. Or oh, there's an actor or actress that you're not comfortable with. You just feel the actor is not doing it right. And you feel you want to take that person's place. Is that supposed to be originally what you want for yourself? You have to evaluate yourself first. Forget about all the hustling and bustling and the chaos in the society. And sit down to evaluate yourself. That is the only way you can call, you can create change positively. I don't understand what I'm saying. Because if it's coming from your inside, you will realize that you're doing it without stress. But if it's coming from what you see outside, you are afraid of what you see outside. Come in if you want to come in, if you come back, what you see outside. You understand? You will not be happy at the end of the day. You understand? That's where I was coming from. Do you get me now? Any other question? Yes, please. How do you? Yes, what do you? How do you? I want to become a lawyer. I want to become um, well, that's what we call multitasking. Um, for those of us that, have, that are multi talented, okay? If you are multi talented, it's not a bad idea. But you have to choose which, is, which one you should prioritize, okay? You have to scale them. That is where your opportunity cost and opportunity for one comes, what? A. I'm sure they must have told you that in economics, yes. Yes. okay? So you list out everything and then you know what you actually really value, what which one is actually more important. If you want to go study law first or you want to go into bead making first, you understand? You prioritize them so that you don't make mistakes. You understand me? Okay. Anyone we're talking about, you can actually collect from your friends, depending when I'll come around again. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay for it. 
We will look for a way to subsidize. Make sure you don't pay for it because I love you so much, eh? <laughs> so this. <laughs>
when you leave class every day, even if it's one hour to take out to restudy your books again, do it. That's the only way you can even help yourself to really know what you want for yourself. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank God for civilization. So you don't tell me that you want to be backward. If I see you selling dairy in the market tomorrow, I'm really going to be hurt. No matter who your parents are today, even if they don't have money to pay your bills or fix you up. But if you know where you're going to and you know who you are and you sit back to work, believe me, before you know what's going on, you have everything you want. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I was there. But today, God Almighty has been so faithful. Do you understand? So if I can actually get there, you girls can get there. It is not an excuse that I'm an offer and it's not an excuse for you to fail. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So please, I love you so much. My number is behind there. You can send me messages. Or you go to Future Emerald's website. Or go to this website. Okay? Drop your messages there. I will read them and get to you. Do you understand? If you have any questions that you want to ask, just drop your questions there. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is it's going to be easier for you to reach me through this means. When you get to the website, for those of you that are on the internet here, right? Yes. So when you get to the website, you just go through it. Although they are not finished, but you understand what I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying when you get there. You can always go to the contact page and send me messages. Do you understand? Yes. I love you so much. This is your